the best contact lenses for dry eyes from a patient perspective. Dr. Guyman in Idaho Falls, Idaho, and Dr. Smith in St. George, Utah. We're gonna go over some of our favorite contact lenses that work really well for dry eyes from a patient perspective. So not from what the brand says about their contact lenses, the technology, the advertisements, anything like that. It's more from what we hear from the patients. Let's focus in. First one I wanna bring up is Precision One contact lenses. This is a daily contact lens, and this has been kind of a go-to lens for people that are gonna get into dailies. If they're feeling a little bit irritation, dryness, this has been a good lens that a lot of patients have been liking, a lot of success with it, uh, and has done really well for those patients with dry eyes. And so this has been a great one for me uh, and a great one for patients that I fit them in. I also like the Precision One a ton, and we fit a lot of people in Precision One. It has some great technology for dry eye where it's more moist on the surface versus the center. So it doesn't pull off a lot of tear off the eye. And it uh, also is very lubricated on the outside, very slippery, so like feels like nothing. Yeah, and we get a lot of patient feedback with it as well. And it seems to be a good price, has a good rebate, and so it's really a good lens, go-to lens. Now, in the same category is the Dailies Total One uh, from the same company, Alcon, and similar technology, uh, considered a premium lens, really great for dry eyes as well. Uh, the only tricky part with this one, this brand, is it can be tricky to get out of the eye. And so sometimes a patient needs to be a little bit more experienced with contact lenses um, to be really successful with these. But again, patients love this lens, but it can be a little bit more expensive and a little bit trickier, but great success with this. I would agree. This one's even more high octane than the Precision One as far as comfort. As far as my patient's feedback down in the desert of St. George, Utah, Total One feels even more comfortable than Precision One. Yeah. But can be a little bit harder to remove off the eye because it's so slippery. Yeah. And so Dr. Gavin and I were having a little conversation earlier, and some patients do have a harder time getting it off their eye, but, you know, patients that definitely have had experience in putting on contacts and taking them out, they're going to be, they're going to love this Total One. Yeah, definitely have a lot of patients in this one, a lot of dry eye patients for sure. I'm going to bring up one that is called Oasis One Day Max. This is a really good one for dry eye as well. I wear the Oasis One Day myself. I already bought my annual supply in the Oasis One Day uh, before the Oasis One Day Max came out, and I'm still working my way through them, but this is probably going to be the next one that I get. And as far as patient feedback in St. George, this one has very, very high, high ratings like the total one in comfort what would you say on this one as far as your experience yeah um same for sure so in idol falls uh this has been definitely well received considered a new contact lens um has some blue blocking technology in it but as far as yeah. dry eye contact lenses uh, it's definitely ranked up there of uh, on the top and so yeah. um yeah it's considered uh, definitely one of the premium lenses um, it's in that category, but does really well for patients with dry eyes in, in my territory. So I have great feedback with this one. Usually if I fit a patient in this, they do really well. As far as comfort, this is definitely great, great. Yes. And I wear them myself, so I'm being honest on this brand right here. So we just talked about the Oasis One Day Max, but we touched a little bit on this. I wanted to show you a little image of what the Oasis One Day Hydrolux looks like right here. This is the one that I got my annual supply in. And this is one that a ton of my patients are also in because of the comfort. Straight up comfort in a dry environment, dry eye situations. This is the Oasis One Day and it's very, very comfortable in the face of dryness. So another one that we probably want to mention is the Infuse Daily Contact Lens. This is a Bausch & uh, product. Um, really well, probably one of the best uh, bang for your buck kind of value contact lenses. And I would say this one competes with the Precision One um, contact lenses. And a lot of success with this for people with dry eyes. Um, and so this is also a really good one to consider as well. Like I said, probably one of your, like, probably one of the best valued daily contact lenses out there. 
I would agree with the infuse. We fit a lot of infuse for just straight comfort. Again, if we're looking at straight, just patient feedback on the comfort of a contact lens in the face of dry eye, Bausch & Lomb infuse. And not only that, but it also it always has an amazing manufacturer rebate if you go to see yeah, your optometrist. True. In a private practice setting, a lot of times private practice offices will offer a little bit better manufacturer rebate. Yep. And so I yeah, I love the infuse. It's a great overall lens for not only dryness but even value on top of that. I want to bring up one called Total 30, and this is kind of a small little, I'm just holding up a single lens right here, so we'll kind of zoom up a little bit on it. But Total 30, this is actually a 30-day contact lens. The Total 30 has similar technology to what we already talked about, the Total One and yeah. the Precision One, made by the same manufacturer as both of these right here, with that technology where it's more moist on the surfaces, less moist in the center so it doesn't pull a whole lot of tear off the eye it doesn't absorb as much tear because it's less water content in the center of the lens but some patients love 30-day contacts and they've been wearing 30-day contacts where they soak them at night throw them throw them out once per month for decades and so this fits the model of the patient that wants to keep on soaking their contacts but wants a really good contact lens in the face of dry eye and in st george utah in the desert this comes highly rated as far as comfort. How yeah. does this work up in your neck of the woods? Yeah, um, really well. So it might be kind of weird to hear that we're putting a monthly contact lens on the list. Um, but like you yeah. said, uh, in fact, I have found some people actually do better with monthly lenses versus daily lenses. There are some yeah. people out there. And really these all are patient dependent. You know, some people might sure. love the Oasis Max and then other person might hate them you know so a lot of it is patient dependent but overall patient feedback if we're going with a monthly lens the total 30 lens has actually been great and it's considered a newer lens and patient feedback uh, a lot of people have been liking them especially people with dry eyes now there I have found that there's a little bit of a trick with these uh, because sometimes I'll have some patients that will say maybe at the two week or the th third week they're starting to get either a film or that comfort starting like starts to wear down pretty fast and so we found that if you have that patient actually clean the lenses with the clear care uh, they found that that comfort stays there longer and so there is a little bit of a trick with the lenses but if you if you do it right uh, it can actually work really well for people with dry eyes that's a great pro tip right there and it also brings up the point that any contact lens that you do soak at night will collect more proteins than a contact lens that you're opening fresh brand new every day and getting yeah. that fresh new contact lens feel. In my opinion the one day contacts are always the ultimate contact lenses but if I was going to be in a 30 day lens this is definitely one that I would highly consider as a total 30 for sure and I have tried it on my own eyes. It's great. It's been interesting to hear some of the feedback that you've kind of reflected from your patients on these different brands of contact lenses because um, even though our environments that we live in are slightly different elevations and um, we live hundreds of miles away from each other, yeah. northern U.S., kind of central to southern U United States, kind of in the desert area, we can definitely see that certain brands, if they're made right, can perform pretty well straight across the board because we were pulling similar brands here even though we live yeah. hundreds of miles apart. Yeah, for sure. So pretty cool. So they do really work well for a lot of people. Yeah. But yeah, if you want to learn more specifics, you can hit up my other dedicated video about other contacts for dry eyes and be sure to stay focused.